two days to go until the Angkor Wat Cambodia Half Marathon. This is week four of a four week metabolic training plan designed to help me run faster. The training plan was done off the back of some metabolic testing I did with Coached here in Singapore. The metabolic testing told me I needed to kickstart my fat metabolism so that I could run faster for a longer period of time. The goal is to become more efficient at fat burning by adopting a lower carb diet and doing more aerobic training. Keeping my heart rate below 148, which was the crossover point where my body burnt more carbohydrates than fat for fuel. I'll link below to the metabolic testing and also the training plan so you can see more detail there. Week four's training plan was a little bit different because I needed to taper off. For my runs this week, I'm still gonna do my hill sprints on Monday. Wednesday, I'm gonna do a speed 10K as fast as I can, and then take it easy. Sunday, it's race day. I'm gonna do one less strength training this week. I've removed my Friday session. So diet remains the same. I'm gonna continue with the carb cycling, no refined sugar and sweets, and maybe the night before the race, I'm gonna have some pasta, some bread, do a little bit of carb loading. Let me tell you how week four went. Day one, Monday the 27th of November. Did my hill sprints again this morning. They are not getting any easier. This is definitely something I wanna keep up after the race. After the hill sprints, went straight in to a tough leg session with my PT, Doris. Just coming on here to say that it's Monday the 27th of November and today, yesterday was Sunday, Saturday and a few days last week, my sugar cravings have been unbelievable. I definitely increased some of my carbs at meal times on the more savory side. I haven't given in, I haven't eaten any processed sugar in the forms of chocolate, sweets, ice creams, but it's really hard. I'm due on my period in two days, so I think it, a lot of it could be related to that, but it's just making me miserable now. It's really hard. The cravings are real, and honestly, it's making me a little bit miserable. <laughs> Now, I wish I could be stronger. And I, I am strong, I've done three weeks. You know, it is. I suppose it's just what the body's used to. And I think maybe it's gonna take a much longer period of time for those cravings to completely go away. Maybe someone on here can help me. Maybe someone can help me. Maybe how can I, how can I really stop these sugar cravings? I'm really having to try to control myself. When does this become easier? How can I make this easier? short of giving it all up completely forever, which sounds just horrible. Day two, Tuesday the 28th of November. Up early this morning for the usual 5 a.m. strength training, upper body on the marina, smashed it. Had a carb heavy breakfast and then continued carb cycling for the rest of the day. Had stuffed mushrooms for lunch and an amazing Thai curry for dinner. So I just shot a video for alcohol-free alternatives. And you can see at the back, I did kind of five amazing alcohol-free rosés to drink this festive period. I feel so sick now. I feel so like I've been drinking. My stomach feels so gross. Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's because I haven't had sugar in so long that I've just had I probably only, it looks like I've drank a lot. I've not half that went, got thrown away. I've probably only drank maybe a gla one glass in total, but it's made me feel really sick and unwell. I don't know if it's a sugar thing that I haven't eaten or drank sugar in a while, that even kind of probably having half a glass of alcohol-free rosé has made me feel pretty rough. Not sure what that's about. Day three, Wednesday the 29th of November. Sweaty face of someone who's just smashed out a 10K as quickly as I could. It was okay. Not as fast as I want to be on race day though, which is a little worrying. Let's see how we go. This morning's run was okay. It just wasn't as fast as I would have liked. At the time I ran this morning, I would do the half marathon in one hour, 57 minutes. It just doesn't leave a lot of time for toilet breaks or water or anything if I need it. Remember, I'm aiming for sub two hours. If I could just keep that 5.30 pace, then I could do the half marathon in one hour, 56 minutes. Food was okay again today. I did have that amazing chicken barley risotto thing from Little Farms, which was awesome. We had friends and colleagues around for dinner tonight, so just kept it really easy with burgers and I could totally eat around all the carbs. 
day four, Thursday the 30th of November. On my way to strength training this morning, feeling oh, just awful. Uh, I came on my period this morning and just generally feeling pretty rough. Uh, I had to eat something, so I had some peanut butter on toast. So straight in with the carbs, not trained yet today. So, um, but yeah, feeling really sick. Hopefully can kind of get these couple of days over with and then I'll be okay for Sunday now for the race day, but we'll see. So I had a later training session today, upper body and core. Felt so good, really, really challenging, but great. Ate a BLT post-training, then a bunch of random leftovers and ended up eating really late, having an Indian after we did a Christmas lights bus thing with the kids. Way too much food, slept really badly because I ate late and also was just way over my calories. Day five, Friday the 1st of December, today. Had a later start this morning, got the kids up and off to school and then headed to an early counseling session. I'm trying EMDR to clear some past trauma. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in another video. I had a huge keto breakfast at Lil Farms after counseling and then I just sat there all morning working until around two o'clock and then I ordered a roasted cauliflower with romesco and chicken. Their food is great and it's one of my favorite spots to just sit and work. It's really hard having a day off and not training. I can feel myself getting really kind of agitated. I feel I need to kind of move my body and I'm just not used to it at all. I'm uh, gonna try and have tomorrow off as well, so we'll see how I go. The results. Training. So I did all my runs and strength training this week. Missed a couple of active recovery, but as always, prioritizing my sleep. No runs to benchmark against this week because I didn't do any long ones. Just really hoping that I've done enough um, to run faster, maybe even get a personal best and a sub two for this half marathon. Nutrition. I was loads better with my carb cycling this week, which is great. I actually can't believe I didn't eat sugar this week. The cravings around my period were honestly unbearable at times. Feeling really proud of myself that I've managed to stay off it, not just this week, but for four weeks. My calories did increase this week, but stayed really inconsistent. So this must be affecting my performance. I'd love to hear from any runners out there. You know, do you guys eat the exact same amount of calories every day or does it naturally fluctuate? Are there benefits to eating the same amount every day? Or is it just normal to maybe have more at the weekends versus throughout the week? Sleep and stress. I mostly had a good week with sleep this week, getting seven to eight hours a night. No special self-care this week. We're going through a busy period, but that's okay. Race prep and strategy. It's two days to go until race day. I'm actually really excited. I love running, I love the atmosphere, and I love being around everyone who's got the same goal. I'm also really excited to head back to Cambodia. It's one of my favorite countries in Southeast Asia. I was last there in 2014 when I did a two week yoga and meditation retreat and then traveled all over the country, seeing their sites and learning about their history. The people are so kind and so warm. I cannot recommend it enough as a place to visit. So for now, it's lots of rest, hydrating and eating well. The night before the race, I'm gonna have some carbs for dinner. I booked a really nice Italian restaurant. My race strategy is to start fast, get out from behind people as quickly as possible. I'll drink carbs from the start and then I'll add in gummies and gels as the race progresses. Pace wise, I want to try and stick to 5.30 and below from the start, but also not to panic if I'm not hitting that. Most of all, I just wanna enjoy the race and have fun. Please subscribe if you'd like to know how I get on with the race and if the metabolic testing, training and nutrition plan worked to help me run faster. If you'd like more information on the metabolic training plan, you can watch here. Thanks so much for watching. Wish me luck. I'll see you soon. Bye.